Dear participants, welcome to the course on supply chain digitization. It is jointly being taught by Professor Priyanka Burma, Professor Susmita Narayana and Professor Devabrata Das from IIM Mumbai. In today's lecture, we will continue the discussion on greenfield analysis and specifically we will focus on how to do greenfield analysis using Excel solver and we will also see how can we do the similar analysis using any logistics software. So, before we proceed uh, let us quickly summarize what we discussed in last two lectures. First we focused on what is digital twin, then we also discussed various types of digital twin in supply chain and operations management, product level digital twin, process level digital twin, company level digital twin that is enterprise level. Then we also discuss supply chain network level digital twin and also network of networks level digital twin. Then we discuss the digital twin framework from supply chain point of view. Then we focused on a case study to perform greenfield analysis and specifically we developed an optimization model to determine the optimal location of distribution center so that transportation cost is minimized. We also discussed the results of the optimization model specifically the excel solver output. We also have shown the output of the greenfield analysis done using any logistics software. So, in today's lecture we will explain the excel solver like how greenfield analysis can be done using the optimization method in excel. In the previous class we only shown you the output. In today's class we will do hands on and discuss how can you do the greenfield analysis and get the exact same output as we have shown in the last class. We also will perform the greenfield analysis using analytic software. In the last class we showed you the output. So, in today's class we will show you how you can do the greenfield analysis using an elastic software so that you can also reproduce the similar results. So, with this let us relook at the case study which we discussed in the last class. The senior management of a pharmaceutical company is planning to set up a distribution center to cater the demand of western region of India. And if you see we have 4 markets in western region Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat. We have their yearly demand. We also have the exact location of this market that is latitude and longitude of each of these 4 places. Our objective is to find the optimal location of the distribution center. I have 4 customers, customer 1 is located in Pune, customer 2 located is in Mumbai, customer 3 located is in Ahmedabad and customer 4 located is in Surat. And we have yearly demand at each of this customers location. So, we need to meet this demand. So, where can I locate the distribution center so that my total transportation cost is minimized. So, let us say if we locate it here, then I need to transport products from DC to Mumbai, from DC to Pune, from DC to Surat, from DC to Ahmedabad and these are my distance. So, I need to minimize the transportation cost that is minimize the distance multiplied by how many units I am sending to this customer's location. So, that I need to minimize. So, with that objective in mind we developed an optimization model in the last class 
and if you see x i and y i are coordinates of market i. So, x i is x coordinate that is latitude of market i, y i is the y coordinate that is longitude of market i. Then we also have demand i that is demand of each of this market. Then x d c represents the location of distribution center which is a decision variable. I do not know the value yet, but it represents what would be the optimal latitude of the distribution center. Y d c represents the y coordinate of optimal location of d c. That means, what would be the optimal longitude of the distribution center. So, these two value right now I do not know this will be decided based on the optimization model. Then transportation cost per kilometer per unit is represented by T c and Z is the total transportation cost. So, we have distance between each market from the optimal location of D c. I need to multiply it with the demand because these many units I need to transport from D c to demand location. So, if I sum it up from 1 to 4, I will get it for 4 markets and then that value should be multiplied by transportation cost per kilometer per unit. Then I will get total cost of transporting products from D c to customers locations. So, this value I need to minimize. So, I have to minimize z. In the last class we showed you the excel solver output. We also showed you the output of any logistics model and if you see the output says that my distribution center should be located here and optimal latitude is 19.09 and optimal longitude is 72.87. So, this is my optimal location of DC with latitude 19.09 and longitude is 72.87. Now, in today's session we will try to reproduce this result using excel solver as well as using any logistics. So, to do that first we need to open the excel file greenfield analysis dot excel sx then make sure that you have solver add-ins is installed and then follow the steps which I am showing it to you. So, for that I will now go to excel solver this is the data. So, let us just this is the optimal value, but I do not want to show the optimal value to you right away. I want excel solver to give you the optimum value. Okay. So, now let us look into this excel file. So, initially this is my initial value. Okay. So, latitude of dc, longitude of dc, this is my decision variable. I do not know this value yet. So, let us assume that initial value is 20 and initial value is 72 for longitude. Now, if that is the longitude and latitude of dc, then what would be my distance. Okay. So, I have this data given in the case Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Surat these are 4 markets they are demand they are exact latitude longitude and also cost per kilometer per unit which we have assumed 1 dollar. Okay. Now, we have to find out the distance from Pune to this DC. Mumbai to this DC, Ahmedabad to this DC, Surat to this DC and this is the distance which is coming up 254.54 kilometer from Pune to this DC if latitude is 20 and longitude is 72. Now, how did you get this value? So, for that we need to look into this formula which we have discussed in the last class. So, now I need to first calculate d long that is deviation in longitude value which is nothing but y d c minus y i, y d c is this value. Okay. So, longitude of d c, y i is the longitude of ith market that is Pune. Okay. So, 
So, that is how D ln is calculated which is in column H. So, if I click it over here you will see D ln equal to radians B 8 minus E 2. So, B 8 is longitude of DC that is Y DC and E 2 is longitude of Pune that is market 1 that is Y 1. And we have also applied radians because radian is the standard unit of angular measure. So, we will get the value of D ln. Similarly, I will also get the value of D ln for Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat. Okay, the same formula I have applied. Now, we need to calculate D lat. So, D lat is deviation in latitude. Okay. So, for that first I need to get the value of x d c that is latitude of the d c minus latitude of ith market. So, if you look into this formula radians b 7 minus d 2 b 7 is latitude of d c minus d 2 is latitude of first market because i equal to 1 here that is Pune and we have again applied radians over here. The radian is the standard unit of angular measure. Then same thing we have calculated for Mumbai, same thing we have calculated for Ahmedabad and same thing we have calculated for Surat. So, we got D ln as well as D lat value for Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat. Then I need to calculate A. What is A? Sin square D lat by 2. I have D lat value then cos into x i into cos x d c into sin square d ln by 2. I also have the value of D ln. I also know x i and x d c. So, what is x i? x i is nothing but latitude of ith market and x d c is nothing but latitude of the d c. So, if we use this formula you will see sin g 2 by 2. So, g 2 is nothing but d lat by 2 then square. So, that is sin square d lat by 2 plus cos of radians of d 2. That means, cos of radians of d 2 means latitude of Pune. So, that is x 1. Then cos of radians of b 7. So, cos of radians of B 7 is latitude of the D C multiplied by sin H 2 by 2 sin D ln by 2 then square. Okay. So, we will get the value of A same way you can get the value of A for Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat. Then we need to get the value of C. What is C? C is nothing but 2 times A tan 2 then square root of 1 minus A comma square root of a. So, in Excel we have used this value and if you enter you will get the value of 0.03995. So, I can get the value of C for Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat using the formula. Now, I got C, I got A, I got D ln, I got D lat. I need to calculate distance. So, distance between the market and distribution center is R into C. Okay. So, what is R here? R is 6371 uh, which is a constant value. I need to multiply it with C which you already derived. So, if you do this we will get the distance from Pune to this DC for which latitude is 20 longitude is 72. The same way I will be able to get the distance of Mumbai from the DC, distance of Ahmedabad from DC, distance of Surat from DC. So, now whole sheet has been explained to you. Now, what is the cost? Cost is some product of K 2 to K 5 that is distance. I have to multiply this distance with how many units I am sending. So, from Pune uh, from DC to Pune I will be sending 157680 units 
and how many kilometer I have to travel 254.54 and the cost per kilometer per unit is 1. So, therefore, I am multiplying 1 into this into 254. So, if we do that I will get it for 1 market. I need to again sum it up with 1 into this into this 1 into this into this 1 into this into this. So, all of this can be easily done using formula sum product. Okay. So, we will get the cost value this. Now, this is not the optimal cost because we have not applied any optimization yet. This is the cost if latitude of DC is 20, longitude of DC is 70, but is this the optimum value that is what we have to find out. So, for that we will go to data and then solver, make sure you have solver installed. Once we go here, I need to set the objective value. The objective is to minimize B9, minimize this cost, this is B9 by changing variable B7 to B8. So, these are my decision variable which are in yellow color, I need to change this. So, optimization model will tell me what is the optimal value, this value will be changed. And then I am applying non-linear method because in this case if you see the distance formula is non-linear. So, therefore, I need to apply non-linear method. If you press solve, you will say solver has converged to the current solution, all constants are satisfied. Although there is no constant here, but solver has found an, an optimal solution. An optimal value of latitude is 19.09, optimal value of longitude of DC is 72.87 and if you see this is exactly same as Mumbai location and that is why from Mumbai to this DC distance has become 0 also. So, if I locate a DC at this location 19.09,72.87, I will get the optimal location of the distribution center and the total cost of transporting products from DC to demand points will be minimized. So, I am sure all of you understood how Excel solver works. Now, for a small problem, this is very easy because I have only one DC to determine and I have four markets. But imagine if you have 4000 markets located across the countries, then where should I have DC? Can I do it using Excel solver? I cannot do it because Excel has limitation. So, therefore, what should I do? Okay. So, is there any method, is there any software which will help me to do this? Now, if I have 4500 markets located across the countries and I need to open let us say 3 DC, 4 DC, 5 DC, so then Excel solver would be difficult to solve. So, I need to take help of some other software which has these facilities. But Excel solver is good for a small scale problem. Okay, so, we have done this step already and we got this result using Excel solver. Okay. Now, let us make this problem little advanced. Uh, so, if you see the data, we have taken 4 SQs. So, in the previous case which was very simple, we have only one product at each market Pune, Mumbai, Surat, Ahmedabad. Now, I have 4 different SQs, SQ1, SQ2, SQ3, SQ4 and we also have daily demand. So, in place of yearly demand, we have daily demand. So, imagine the complexity has increased. So, earlier I had only one product, now I have 4 different SQs and imagine if these SQs increases and typically company has multiple SQs, let us you have 20 SQs and 40, 100 markets located across the country. So, then how do you find out the optimal location of DC and the demand is also daily. So, it will be difficult to solve in Excel, 
because Excel has limitation, it cannot solve a optimization model which has more than 200 decision variables. So, therefore, we need to take help from other software. So, any logistics is one such software which helps us to do greenfield analysis and get the results in seconds. So, if you want to read more, you can go to this website anylogistics.com and you will be able to find out the benefits of any logistics specifically if you want to do greenfield analysis. So, now let us see how we can do greenfield analysis, how we can develop a supply chain digital twin using any logistics as far as greenfield analysis is concerned. Okay. So, this is the output of the greenfield analysis which we have uh, done and I am showing it over here. So, before I go and do the hands on, this is how the screen of any logistics looks like. So, this is version 3, any logistics version 3, PLE means personal learning edition. Okay. So, if you are a student, you can use this edition and it has three module, one is greenfield analysis, second one is network optimization and third one is simulation. Let us say in our case, we are focusing on greenfield analysis. So, we will go into the module of greenfield analysis. When we will do network optimization, we will see the module of network optimization and in this course, we are not doing simulation, but however, you can perform simulation using any logistics. So, let us first open the any logistics software and see how we are getting this output. I already have the analytics installed, but if you do not have this installed, please go to this website www.analogistics.com, then download any logistics, personal learning edition you can download, enter the relevant data in any logistics in the green field analysis module, run the analysis. Okay. So, if you are more interested to do it on your own, then I would request that you go to this website analysis.com, then under that there is an academic tab, under that ALX educational toolkit. So, you will get all help over there, they have explained step by step how to do greenfield analysis, they have also given examples, data, everything is given. You just have to change your data set and run the model. So, it is very easy for you to do it. I have already done it myself. I have changed the data and put an Indian context. You can also do depending upon your context, depending upon your data, you need to change the input value and input parameters. Okay. So, now let us go to the any logistics software. This is how it will look. So, now I already have the data entered. So, I will show how the data will look like. Okay. So, this is network optimization. So, I need to go to greenfield analysis. So, this is the greenfield analysis. I will show you how the data look like. So, the customers. I have four customers Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat. Okay. These are all customers. Then I have DCs and factories. Right now I do not have anything. You can see here nothing is there. Then demand I have. So, as you have seen, I have demand at four different locations Pune, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, and Surat. And in each location I have four different products. So, if you see at Pune, I have SQ1, SQ2, SQ3, SQ4, I have in Mumbai, Surat, Ahmedabad okay. and my demand is periodic demand and if you see that click over here, you will see the demand in Pune per day is 130 units. So, you have to enter this value demand at Pune for SQ2 is 90 units. For SQ3, demand at Pune is 
95 units and so on. So, similar way you can enter if we have in place of 4 markets, if you have 5 markets, we add one more market and enter the demand per day. Then we have their locations. Okay. If you see Pune location, Mumbai, Ahmedabad and Surat, the Pune location has latitude 18.52,73.85, Mumbai location has latitude this longitude 72.87, Ahmedabad latitude 23.02, longitude 72.57, Surat latitude 21.18, longitude 72.83. Okay. So, I have 4 products you can see SQ1, SQ2, SQ3 and the, the units are in pieces. This way you can enter the values and one thing I want to mention right now I have entered the latitude and longitude manually, but you also have autofill coordinates. Okay. Suppose you enter the name correctly, let us say I want to enter the name of Akola. If I enter Akola automatically the coordinates will be autofilled. Okay. So, now once all the data are entered correctly, then I will go here and run this okay, GFA experiment. If I run this, I will get the output and if you see my output is here. So, it is telling me where my DC is. See, earlier this GFA DC was not mentioned, but now after running it, it is telling it has to be exactly at same location as Mumbai okay. and I can also use this connector then it will also tell me how these locations are connected. I can also use label then it will give me the name. So, I have now name Pune, Mumbai, Surat, Ahmedabad. So, all this information I will get it on the map. So, if I use any logistic software I can see the advantage not only able to see the location of the distribution centers. I am also able to see where my customers are located, how far it is from the distribution center. I can visualize it in a better way. This is for a small problem with 4 customers. If I have more customers, then any logistics would be much more useful. The visualization will be much more better and it will be needed also for the decision maker it will be very good to visualize it properly. Okay. So, now let us see the results. Okay. So, if you see the results new site, new site GFADC the location is latitude 19.096 longitude 72.877. So, the same value which we got in Excel also 19.09 72.87. So, the same value has been given by any logistics. Then I can also see the flows. Okay. That means from DC to various demand points, what is the flow? So, DC to Ahmedabad for SQ1, I am sending how many? 43,800. The distance is 437.988 and this is the flow cost. Okay. The same way I can see from distance from distribution center to Ahmedabad for SQ2 how much units are sending 34,675 and then distance in kilometer is 437.988 and flow cost is this. So, you will be also able to see not only the new site and its location you are also able to see the flow from DC to these various demand points, how many products are flowing. Okay. I can also see demand by distance, I can also see distance by demand. So, these are all possibilities are there and the visualization will be much more better if I have any logistics software with me. I will get a much better visibility. I will be also able to see 
where are they located and how the flow of products are happening from DC to various demand location. So, again I urge all of you to go to this website, download this educational toolkit I'm, and I am very sure you would be also able to do the same analysis on your own. Only thing you have to do you have to change your data set because they have given the example uh, from European point of view you have to change it based on your uh, requirement based on your company based on your country. So, latitude longitude has to be changed, demand data has to be changed then you can also perform the same analysis. So, till now uh, we have seen how greenfield analysis can be done using excel, we also have discussed how it could be carried out using any logistics, we have discussed the advantages of any logistics in this class. So, now what we will do in the next class we will see how network optimization can be done using any logistics in detail. So, thank you so much look forward to seeing you in the next class.